Hi friends, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will be explaining about electrical engineering. Why should one take electrical engineering and what are the opportunities in electrical engineering? I have arranged my presentation like basic definition of engineering, then about electrical engineering, then I will discuss about the main courses in electrical engineering and the Bloom's taxonomy. Then I will move on to the main part which is related to the opportunities of electrical engineering and finally i will answer you the million dollar question is electrical engineering hard to study so let us start with the inspiring words by leonardo da vinci learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts never fears and never regrets so please keep this in mind so what is this engineering it is the profession in which the knowledge of mathematical and natural sciences gained by study, experience and practice is applied with judgment to develop ways to utilize economically the materials and forces of nature for the benefit of mankind. Or in simple words one could say that everything we enjoy other than that is naturally there is engineered for the benefit of us. So in everything around us you can see engineering. Now the core branches of engineering. Engineering is mainly divided into four branches according to its specification and applications in different fields of science and technology such as mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering and chemical engineering and all other kinds of engineering that you see today are derived from one of these branches of engineering or a mix of some of these. Now our back Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology defines electrical engineering as an engineering discipline concerned with the study, design and application of equipment, devices and systems which use electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. And the early experiments with electricity included primitive batteries and static charges However, the actual design, construction and manufacturing of useful devices and systems began with the implementation of Michael Faraday's law of induction, which essentially states that an EMF is induced in a circuit in proportion to the rate of change of magnetic field through it. And this law applies to the basic principles of electric generator, electric motor, transformer and almost all devices that we use today. And the advent of modern age is marked by the introduction of electricity to homes, business and industry, all of which were made possible by the electrical engineers. And electrical engineering is now divided into a wide range of fields including computer engineering, power engineering, telecommunication, radio frequency engineering, signal processing, instrumentation and electronics. Many of these disciplines overlap with other engineering branches as well and spanning a huge number of specialization including hardware engineer, power electronics, electromagnetics and waves, microwave engineering, nanotechnology, electrochemistry, renewable engineering, mechatronics and electrical material science and so on. And the electrical engineers typically hold a degree in electrical engineering or electrical and electronics engineering and the practicing engineers may have a professional certification and be members of some professional body. And electrical engineers work in a wide range of industries and the skills required are likewise variable. And this range from a circuit theory to a management skills of a project manager. And the tools and equipments that an individual engineer may need are similarly variable ranging from a simple voltmeter to a top and power analyzer to the sophisticated design and manufacturing softwares. And to cope up with this, we have to study some courses during the course of electrical engineering. Here I have shown the major three sections of the courses that one will be studying during his electrical engineering course. First the maths and science section which includes differential equations, linear algebra, integral calculus, physics and chemistry etc. And the core engineering area which includes the electrical power engineering, circuits, control systems, electro fields and materials 
signals and systems and the specialized areas may include communication electronics nanotechnology mechatronics computer engineering and so on here also one may note that if someone is doing electrical engineering and he is also interested in say computer science then there are provisions by universities to take minor courses while doing his major course in electrical engineering say he can take a minor degree in computer science along with his major degree in electrical so for that he has to do some extra courses and a small project work this is also possible with almost all universities now coming to the bloom's taxonomy in 1956 an educational psychologist benjamin bloom developed a tool that teachers could use to develop a structure and an understanding of how students think and it has been very popular and useful tool for many years now we are using a modified version of bloom's taxonomy these days and these Bloom's taxonomy shows the different levels of study that one student may undergo during his course. That is from remembering level, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating and finally creating. So the courses in electrical engineering or any other engineering branch will be arranged such that a student will go through all these levels. Let me discuss about the current trends and what are the opportunities in electrical engineering so we'll start from our home just look around you what would we be without electricity and all its magical extrapolations no phones no cars no coolers no televisions no refrigerators and nothing this electricity surrounds us and it is making us feel more smarter so in a home Everywhere in a living room, bedroom, kitchen, everywhere you have electrical appliances. Maybe you are adding a one every year or say even in a month. Who is going to set up all these for us? It's an electrical engineer. So don't worry, there are immense opportunities when even in home appliances. Then moving to transportation. A small car with IC engine produces around 2.5 tons of carbon dioxide annually and we are in an era where pollution is becoming an issue every day and it is expected that the electrical vehicles will change the future primarily because of their environmental benefits and the electrical vehicles will help clean up the air and also uses lesser resources reducing our dependency on the planet. We should have millions of electrical vehicles on our roads using rare earth metals and sapping power from the grid. By 2030, electrical vehicles are predicted to penetrate the market globally in huge numbers. Tens of millions of them are expected to be on the road. Then who is going to be benefited? No doubt, it is the electrical engineering. There are immense opportunities in the charging stations, battery technologies, motor industry, battery scrapping, battery swap hubs, charging stations and so on. So don't worry, the transportation sector is also for an electrical engineer. I have mentioned that the electrical vehicle will help reduce the pollution in the planet. But is that true? If it is run by electrical energy which is obtained by burning coal, no, then it is not true. You can say that the electrical vehicle will reduce the pollution locally, but at some other point it is polluting the air or the surroundings. Then what? Renewable energy. Renewable energy is the way forward. So there are immense opportunities in renewable energy sectors like solar, wind and so on. And the electrical engineer is going to lead all the developments in this area as well. Now looking to the future. Machine learning and electrical engineering professionals leverage artificial intelligence to build and optimize systems and also provide AI technology with new data inputs for interpretation. For example, engineers build systems of connected sensors and cameras that ensure that the autonomous vehicles AI can see the environment. 
in addition they must ensure that the information is communicated from the onboard sensors at lighting speeds as any delay in processing could result in a severe accident one can create algorithms capable of identifying malfunctions in transmission and distribution infrastructure based on images collected by drones or you can use ai to forecast how weather condition will affect solar and wind power generation and adjust to meet the demand then over the years robotics is increasingly being used in almost all industries and we electrical engineer have a big opportunity there then the basic power generation transmission and distribution system it is always owned by the electrical engineering department and we are having immense opportunities there as well so don't worry now this slide shows the list of companies which offer jobs to electrical engineer it varies from the cable manufacturers to the switches and accessories to the solar companies to the battery companies and to the it companies and so on there are many opportunities and one may ask does google hire electrical engineers yes google hires electrical engineers both as electrical engineers and as software developers google builds quite a lot of hardware because everything in a data center is made for that purpose and a data center power system is quite a miracle of electrical engineering actually so you have an opportunity there as well now 20 plus psus in india recruit through gate graduate aptitude testing engineering which you have to take at the end of your btech or engineering degree and there are many opportunities there more opportunities are there in government sectors like state government sector and central government sector the state government sector electrical engineer has more opportunities in almost all states in india and the central government also you have immense opportunities then you have opportunities at isro drdos ntpcs upsc and you can also be a energy auditor for this you have to be a certified auditor then you can start auditing firms and nowadays even the homes are getting energy audit then higher studies you can go for mtech ms and after that you can go for phds this you can do it in the leading institutions in india or abroad so you have immense opportunities in higher studies and during higher studies you can or even opt for almost all branches of engineering that is one advantage then finally the million dollar question is electrical engineering hard to study i hope you remember the quote said at the beginning learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts never fears and never regrets so to answer the question it is definitely not harder or complicated yes it is challenging but everything will be a challenge until you go for it a child feels even sitting a challenge Alphabets were challenging in his preschool, algebra was challenging in the middle school and calculus was challenging in his high school. But we do work out our ways and learn them over time. Electrical engineering is not hard to learn. It is not time consuming as well. You don't work out pages and pages of math but you need to work your way through it. You need to think, analyze and ponder over it. And as an electrical engineering faculty member, I can say that one will need math and physics for his electrical engineering course. So if you are good and your aptitude is towards math and physics, then you must go for it. If you are interested in learning how things work, then electrical engineering is the branch you want to study and as already discussed there are immense opportunities for you in the future and the future is going to be led by the electrical engineer so please choose your career option wisely thank you for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe and do share with your friends thank you